Hey guys, Rachel Peterson here, and I wanted to record this video today specifically. I don't have like my usual, you know, setup in my office right now. There's not gonna be any fancy editing or an intro or anything, but today, May 21st, is a very special day for me, and I wanna share with you guys why it's so special and about a very different part of my life. So today I am five years sober. I haven't had a drop of alcohol in five years. And the reason that that's so special for me is because I started drinking heavily when I was 19 years old. And, you know, at 20 years old, I found out because of, you know, irresponsible decisions, I was going to become a single mom. And even though I didn't feel prepared for that, I made the decision that I was ready to become a mom, even if I didn't feel prepared for it at all. And once I had my daughter, Dakota, who's amazing and so wonderful, I never faced the issues that I had or the childhood trauma that I went through, which newsflash, like every single one of us goes through childhood trauma, whether you think you have or not, it's, it's there. And so instead of facing it, I started drinking and I'm talking blackout drunk every night. You know, whenever she was at her dad's house, I would go and get really wasted and go to the bars and make horrible decisions. And I just think about that phase of my life and it definitely really exacerbated like depression and anxiety for me. It was a very dark period of my life. And when I met my husband, Paul, six and a half years ago, he knew it was a problem, he just didn't know how bad it was until he started finding that I was hiding, you know, beer cans and little liquor bottles and taking swigs off of the vodka bottle instead of, you know, taking a shot at bedtime or whatever. It really got out of control. And I think about some of the low moments and some of them I'm, I don't know if I'm ever going to be ready to share. Thankfully, nothing ever happened that was irreversible. But some of those little points, like it's like I don't even recognize who I was during that time. And today, to celebrate my five years, I looked uh, five years ago at my pictures on Facebook and I found this picture from the day before I decided to become sober. And I was at a family dinner. And when I look at the pictures, it reminds me of everything that was going on during that day. So I was secretly drunk at this family dinner and it was my entire extended family, my in-laws. I literally had a mug full of vodka and I would sneak in the bathroom and drink it. And I blacked out a lot of that memory with family. And when I look at the picture, the reason that that one stuck out to me so clearly is that it is because the next day when my sister saw that picture, she called me and she said, Rachel, were you drunk in that picture? And it just hit me, this instant shame. And I make it a little emotional just because like, I'm so glad that life is different now. I remember when she called me and said that and she said, Rachel, I don't want your daughter and your kids, your daughters, <laughs> to grow up with an alcoholic mom. That's not what I want for them. And I remember I was so frustrated that she was saying that, but she was saying exactly how I was feeling. And it was, you know, a couple over the, I think it was over the next couple of days that I went to work and I went to work and I was deciding not to drink that day. And believe it or not, that was a huge accomplishment for me to not drink before going into work. So I went into work and I suddenly started getting the shakes and I felt my hands shaking. My stomach was sick and I was like, I'm going through withdrawal. At this point in time, I am 25 years old, 26 years old. I'm going through withdrawal. This is not okay. This is not where I saw my life going. And so I went into the conference room of my work and I like got on my knees and I said like, God, please remove this pain. Please, please. I'm in so much pain. And I was kind of scared. Like, what if 
I die. This is the worst anything's ever been. This is not me. And I heard an audible voice say, if you put the alcohol on the altar, your family will be spared. And I was like, deal, done, I will do it. And I don't know what you believe and I don't ever wanna put my own beliefs on anyone else in any way, but I do know what I heard that day. It was a very audible voice booming. And so I said, deal, done. Like, absolutely, I'm done, I'll walk away from it. And then there was a second part, as if it wasn't already good enough. And that was, and if you do, every dream, vision, hope you have for your life will come true. And it was literally that month that not only did I walk away 100% from alcohol, but every dream, vision, and hope I had for my entire life began. It was during that time that my ideal life started. And it's so beautiful today to sit back and know that I'm an amazing mom and I show up for my kids, I do the best I can and that I'm present for family and that there's no more of those like mornings of waking up and saying like, what did I do last night? We've started a business, we've met with people from around the world, we've traveled the world, we got, got out of poverty, we built a multi-million dollar business, like we've paid off all our personal debt, we got our dream home, like everything has changed. And for me, that was a catalyst in my life. And my life is never gonna look the same. And I just wanted to share this because I feel like there may be one or two people who needed to hear a message about this or about something similar, a journey of your own struggles, just to know like you are not alone. Man, I didn't know how amazing and beautiful life could be in freedom. And so today I celebrate and I'd ask you to celebrate with me. Feel free to share your own journeys in the comments. I will definitely read every single one, but I wanted to share this for that one person who needed to hear it. Oh, it's a beautiful day. Thanks, guys. I'll talk later.